3 million Hondurans are facing hunger. This is because the country is affected by its worst agricultural crisis ever. And campesinos lay the blame squarely at the feet of the ruling government. Our correspondent, Gerardo Torres, filed this report. The Honduran government has admitted that the country is living through a food crisis. According to the authorities, this is a consequence of a drought that is affecting the region. But for campesinos' organizations, the real problem is the government's abandonment of the rural sector. The government is only saying that 164 municipalities have been affected, but we are saying that two-thirds of the country is in a food crisis. We are talking of 400,000 small producers' families, and each family has at least five members. We are talking that at least there are 3.2 million Hondurans living in a situation of poverty and hunger. The government has promised a fund of $5 million in loans to help the small producers face the drought, but the money never got to them. Campesino organizations are demanding support to produce, and they say they are the only people who can bring an end to the food crisis in Honduras. We are not asking for them to give us something for free. We want to have support so that the campesino movement can be strong again. Because we the campesinos are the ones that feed the people and not the corporations that only are trying to send away all our resources and they don't care if they transform our land in a desert. They don't care for the people. For us and our families, they don't care if we don't have what to eat. The campesinos presented a manifesto that says that the hunger in Honduras is a consequence of the neoliberal policies that abandoned the small producers and only benefited transnationals, and their monoculture won't solve the food needs of the country and are also destroying the environment. They are calling for pressure actions to get some support from the authorities. Gerardo Torres, Telesur, Central America.